Well, we're getting a lot of responses to a story we aired last night at 10 showing what's happening these days in the heart of Minneapolis. These are some of the images of the people experiencing homelessness on Nicollet Mall. We saw a number of fights and medical emergencies over the course of just two weeks. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield showed the video to public officials at all levels to ask what's being done. From the buzz of the Super Bowl to the excitement of the Final Four, Nicolette Mall was once the center of celebration. These days, it's the focus of concern, as WCCO reported Wednesday night. I've been out here about three months now. When it comes to the issue of homelessness, there are many different layers. The state, the county, the city, and the downtown council. We reached out to all of them. First, the state's housing office. What was your reaction seeing what was happening in Nicolette? I did watch it, um, and it's just so incredibly painful. She says COVID and social unrest have multiplied trauma and homelessness. What's being done at the state level to stop that situation, to heal it? Yeah, yeah, I mean, so the solution to homelessness is housing, and everybody deserves a safe place to live. She says the state, as of this week, is starting a new Medicare shelter program, and they got $19 million of federal money to create more housing. Here's what Hennepin County said about our video. Shocking, and um, but in line with incidents being elsewhere and difficulties we've seen throughout our community, it is in response to exactly these challenges, of course, that um, you know, the shelters have opened up 24-7. He says three new shelters are in the works, and there are empty beds now, but connecting people with resources can be tricky. That's where the downtown council is stepping in. This video was no surprise to them. My reaction was it was an accurate portrayal of some of the conditions that we've seen building on Nicollet over the course of the, the summer. As of next week, for 10 hours a day, they will have workers with resources from Mad Dads and Youth Link staffing Nicolette Mall with the goal of building bridges and hope. It's a tough situation. We've got to respond in a different way than we have been so far, but that's what we're going to do starting on Monday. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO 4 News. Minneapolis Mayor Jacob Fry was not available for an interview today. His office sent a statement saying they're working with St. Stephen's on street outreach and expecting a $9 million grant in August.